Let's do this. Okay. Gibur <coughs> Muno. Talking about the greatest of the tzaddik. Rav Kuf Ayn Dawid. And you have to have tremendous bikis, tremendous proficiency. It is in Kutavaran, in Tere You have to be proficient, you know, to keep your equilibrium when you're going up. In other words, we are in a matzav of ascent. When you're running to Kodesh Baruch Hu, mamesh like the Srofen Chayas HaKodesh, like the Seraphim, the, you know, the, 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 the holy living beings. Davka, you need this, this Bikis, you know, to be able to calculate what your moves. So you shouldn't think for a minute, hey, I already got something. I got it in my pocket. Don't go above your station. As the Bashem Tov HaKodesh used to say, that there is somebody that hears a Torah every single day, not from a Malach, not from a Sarva, but Kodesh Baruch Hu, Be'atzmai. In other words, he hears every day Torah from Kodesh Baruch Hu himself, and Afrikan, even so, he's in constant danger not to, pull, not to fall to the deepest depth of hell. How? How? So it's through one machshav of Yeshus, one sort of Yeshus, of Yeshus, of Isis, I am. Yes, 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 yes. Over there, Dafka, in those high places, there's a real danger. Because once a person has already reached a really exalted level, a really awesome level, to hear Terra Kodesh Baruch Hu himself, then Dafka thought of, eh, you know, I ain't too shabby, you know, this is kind of like a, me and my guy, you know, it's like, my guys, I'm the leader, me, my guys. <laughs> Dafka on such a great tzaddik, there, there's, um, the, there's a special baldover that goes into him. Because the Sitracha knows, he's the foundation, he's the tzaddik, he's the, he's the foundation of the world. And in him, is totally the, the continuation of the world. So, Dafka him, he, the, the Sitracha tries to make him stumble. Because the Sitracha knows that through Mamash a slight mistake, a feeling of self-worth, he dumps him and look for the Tahoma Rabba in the, the, <coughs> the deepest pit in hell. But Nevada in his, and he's lost forever. Forever. It's Dafka, the greatest Chochmah, you need the greatest hum humbleness. As Chabel says, that an anova without Chochmah doesn't have any chashivas. That humbleness without Chochmah doesn't mean anything. We only see that when a person that went, that, that, and we see that only a person that goes to extremely high madrigas, they show, they show him signs of pushing him away. That's the machamita, mapishpashta. What have you achieved? What, what have you got? Nothing. Because Dafka, these kind of people, they're the greatest danger. The Baldovas and them, he's putting all his armies against them. To give to give the, into their hearts epis and mashu that they are something. They need a special shmir, they need a special care. Like the people of Kairach. Dafka because they were so great. No such hamadragas. What it caused them not not to be able to understand. With what Moshe Rabbeinu is greater than them. Not only this, they complained and they incited the entire other Israel, Moshe Rabbeinu says, why you, you know, make yourself, you know, taking over the Hashem? He says, what is, what is your, what, 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 what are you greater than us? What do you have in you that doesn't exist in us? In other words, what they missed is that proficiency, which is so important in a state of ratzo, a state of going up, this is what they were missing. And Hashem Yirachem, this brought them to what, to what they got. Atkan.